Hello you guys, how are you? I hope you're keeping healthy out there. So today I'm excited as always because we are going to look at the beautiful American actress and model Brooke Shields. Now she is 56 years old, wait to see her. Now she's just done her five step nighttime skincare routine for the go to bed series that Harper's Bazaar puts on. I'll put a link below to the original video, but wait to see this beautiful woman. She is stunning, really stunning. Now five steps is okay. I'm quite impressed that she's only sticking to five steps. I like this, I do like this. So let's get excited and watch her and see what you think and see what the Joni thinks of the products. But before I go on, my name is Joni. Welcome to my channel, Joni Loves. Please, could you hit that subscribe button and that bell? That would be so cool. Still trying to grow my channel, obviously, and every little bit helps, so thank you for that. So let's go see what we think. Hi, I'm Brooke Shields, and I want to know, do you want to go to bed with me? Now for this particular nighttime routine, I am going to be using five different products. So the first thing that I'm going to do is remove my makeup. So this ginger turmeric, turmeric, I'm not quite sure how to say it, it's a True Botanicals cleansing balm. And what I love about this balm is that it is rich and creamy, but does not leave a greasy residue. So I... So have a quick look at this um, True Bota Botanicals. I have to say that True Botanicals, that Brooke Shields is a new face of True Botanicals. But I do like this company. And as we talk about the ingredients and the feel of it, you'll get to know why. But True Botanicals, she's a new face of it. So obviously she's going to use their products, right? Now, these cleansing balms, I do like a cleansing balm. I think they're very popular, but I did like the fact that she said she's going to take her makeup off first because that's what we should do. We should take our makeup off first and then use an appropriate cleanser. That's how I like to think about it myself. So I really like this. Have to say, why should she not get her hair tied back? You know, who can do that? I've got long hair. I need to tie it right back off my face to take my makeup off. I mean, I always want to get all the makeup off, you know, but... <laughs> Anyway, why do beautiful women think they don't need to have their hair back? They're, they're, they're frightened to show their skin. I know the feeling. I did it myself on my channel and it doesn't feel good. You're like bearing yourself, bearing yourself. <gasps> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so let's go. Put, I have makeup on right now. So I'm going to put it all over my face and my lips. I'm not scared of it even on my eyes. And then I will take a little bio-friendly pad, because I don't use the cotton pads anymore, and warm water. I put it on. Oh, I'm just loving this. I'm just loving this. So the bio pads, tick, 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 and warm water, tick, tick, tick. This woman does know what she's talking about. I've got to say though, all the rings, um, I can't do that. Can you, when you're cleansing your skin? Brooke, is that just for the camera? But it's a lot of rings to wear and not have your hair tied back to do this. But hey, there's su such good stuff here. Bio-friendly pads, oh, I love that. The, bad, the pad, hold it between my fingers like this and do the first layer of removal and you will see how it takes it off immediately. I used to use very, very hot water. Um, I have a tendency to have more dry skin than oily skin. So that's what I love about this cleanser. Mm, I'm gonna just stop it because it was all starting so good. It was, it was, and I think she's too rough. I do, she's a bit rough on her eye skin, pulling that eye skin. I don't like that. I do not like that. Mm, I would have held the, put the cleansing balm onto that pad and hold it against the eye area like that and let it dissolve the makeup and then take it gently, but not, not dragging the eye area. Please, no dragging the eye area. I'm just saying, be careful at that. That's a bit rough. That is a bit rough. That would it's not good for your skin. It's too delicate around this area. But I do love the eyebrows. I have to comment on those eyebrows. I love those eyebrows. I do. There's it. 
really keeps your face moisturized. And I usually finish with just a regular washcloth that I wet. And my mother always used to say, moisturizer and cleanser, keeping your face clean. She used to say soap and water. And so I used to use bubbly soap because I thought that that squeaky, dry skin feeling meant that my face was very clean. But because of this, if you notice, just warm water literally took off all the makeup. And you can see how clean it makes your face, but it doesn't make your face feel oily and it doesn't dry it out. That sort of really dry, that kind of dry feeling that I find some soaps some soaps do. Some. Okay, so I did think that was quite good. She used the pads. Um, I, I liked the method, <laughs> the cleansing balm. Use the pads. Just you need to be careful. Don't drag the skin. Please don't do that. And um, she then used the washcloth, which I do like using a washcloth. Rinsed out in lukewarm water. Again, I think it was a bit rough. We need to be careful about that. Try to make sure your washcloths are nice and gentle right that they're soft and fluffy and then you know put them over your face but don't drag the skin be really careful about that um definitely be careful about that okay um, and absolutely don't use soap soap no soap on your face no 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 it will strip the oil and you have to be careful of that when you go older you want to make sure you keep the moisture in your skin 100 percent. we don't want to look at lose any moisture no we don't <laughs> but that true botanicals ginger turmeric cleansing balm is 48 bucks and i think that's you know is that an okay price well probably for this for this range i would say um it removes makeup sunscreen and dirt not moisture it leaves the skin she said that's soft which i quite like that idea what's it in it i've looked at this the first um ingredient is sunflower seed oil moisturizing then it's got hydrogenated um vegetable oil moisturizing avocado oil number four moisturizing number five jojoba oil moisturizing you know i'm looking at this and there is a lot of moisturizing agents in fact um 12 moisturizing agents and antioxidants so i think this cleanser is okay it has got unfortunately a couple of things that will aggravate a sensitive skin so i'm not happy about it actually has some of these things in it and if you're thinking about using this brand maybe get a sample of it that's all i would say get a sample of it first if you've got sensitive skin right if you've got combination oily skin you, you're probably all right um, it's got in it tangerine peel oil, which is perfuming and sensitizing. Ginger root oil, again, the same. Um, orange fruit extract can be the same. And lemon fruit extract and neroli oil can be sensitizing. And right at the bottom, it's okay because right at the bottom, it's got this limonene geranol. I can hardly say these words in linalool. Um, but I have had one client that was allergic to one of those. So I'm always going to mention them because I have had that one client that found out she was allergic to them. So... Be careful um, if you've got sensitive skin. But other than that, I think that sounds pretty good. Just be careful. Remember, gentle is the way. No heavy pressure on your skin. And don't drag that eye area. That's what I'm saying. Sometimes I have to say, I... Okay, so I had my eyelashes dyed. So they look like they are still dark. But I have been known to go to sleep with uh, not taking my eye makeup off, which is really bad but sometimes if I wear a waterproof mascara I don't take the time at night but that's not good for you although I do look at this routine now whereas I used to look at it as a chore that I had never ever ever I'm I'm shocked at that go to bed with your eye makeup on crikey Mikey no way Jose don't do it to yourself Guys and gals, don't do it to yourself. Take the makeup off, no matter what time it is. You're going to your bed. Take the makeup, and especially the eye makeup. Oh my God. Oh, that nearly gave me one there. I had to do for just, you know, for my work or for something. Now I look at it as really self-care and the ritual of it before I go to sleep at night is actually calming. So you saw the first one, which was the cleanser. The next one is the Chibula, which is an unbelievable 
active in ingredient um, and it's called immunity serum. And I'm going to take this, it's in a little dropper also by True Botanicals. And I'm gonna put it in my hand like this. And then I am going to take this vitamin C booster. Now, when it's in this powder form, it stays active and fresh a lot longer than when it's already in a product. So what they did was they separated it out and then a vitamin C booster is really just, like this will stay potent until the last little drop of powder is, is you know, taken out of this jar. So I will put a little bit in like that. I mix them together like that. I mix them together. It dissolves entirely. I You can put it in with the oil, but I like to put it in with the serum because I feel like it gets a little closer to my to my face or my skin or my, I don't know. Somehow I just like, I like the way it feels in the serum. So I put it. <sighs> I, I have to laugh at the marketing stuff behind this. I have to, I have to. Um, True Botanicals, Chebula Active Immunity Serum, 90 bucks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Supports your skin's immunity to help prevent, protect and correct all signs of aging. But Active Immunity Serum, great name. Uh, that's all I'm saying. You know, great for your um, skin's immunity. You know what I mean? <laughs> sorry for laughing. Sorry for laughing. Uh, so I'm looking at the ingredients. Let's look at the ingredients. Okay, then we'll talk about mixing it with the powder. It's got green green tea leaf extract, antioxidant soothing. It's got a low vera leaf juice soothing moisturizer. Again, get this number three. It's got the neuroli flower distillate. Well, it can be a wee bit sensitizing. Then it's got glycerin, ding ding, moisturizing humectant, sodium hyaluronate. Number six, you know hyaluronic acid moisturizer and humectant. Then it's got this Dermanalia chebula fruit extract, which is soothing, powerful antioxidant. It is, I've checked that up, I have to say, Terminalia Chebula, <laughs> I'm enjoying saying that, it's actually definitely got the, the whole, it's got trials behind it as well, Soothing Powerful Antioxidant, I like it, that one, I do, it's a new one on the Joni, and then it's got Echinea Flower Leaf, which is obviously why they're saying it's for the immune system, Echinea, Soothing Antioxidant, and then it's got Elder, um, Black Elderberry um, Soothing Antioxidant and Ginger Root Extract, antioxidant soothing so uh, really in the top 10 ingredients there's only one ingredient that you know narrow live flour that i'm not 100 percent about but this is pretty good there's eight good antioxidants in the top 10 i'm quite liking this serum so this product is worth a try you heard it here antioxidants fright free radicals you know that you have to be putting antioxidants on your skin 100 percent to fight the free radicals, to make your skin really, you know, it's age-defying antioxidants, it's like eating all your antioxidants and all your fruit and veggies. You have to do that to keep your body health. Well, it's the same with your skin health. You need lots of antioxidants. So I like this and it's got moisturizing ingredients. So that's cool. So anyone that's looking for an anti-aging serum, I think this one, the Chebula Active Immunity Serum is worth a go. 90 bucks, it's still worth a go, right? I'm gonna give that a thumbs up. Now, the next thing she's talking about, the vitamin C booster coming in with the powder thing. I don't really like that. You know, I, I'm going to say it, to be honest. If I heard this before about putting it in a powder, is going to make it potent. And it, the thing about it is it's got um, L-exorbic acid, this vitamin C booster. It's 90 bucks for that. Um, and L-ascorbic acid is the pre pretty much the vitamin C superstar. It is for brightening, fading dark spots in your face for strengthening the collagen <laughs> but mixing it like that in your hand with the with the serum I don't think that'd feel great on your skin I don't I don't I don't so I'm not really sure I like this idea and the ferulic acid it's got ferulic acid which also is powerful antioxidant in that vitamin c booster it's just this mixing it in the serum I know to me, I want everything a bit simple. You know, I don't want it. Just put it in and have a vitamin C serum with other stuff in it. Or put two serums on, you know what I'm saying? But no, I like it. I like the idea of it. But, and it's got good, you know, L-exorbic acid is brilliant. And so is ferulic acid. So 
try it. Has anyone tried this? If anyone's tried this idea of mixing it in your hand and put it on, I just think will it absorb into your skin easily? That's my thing. I don't know that it will. It's 90 bucks for that. So mm, let me know if anyone's tried it out there, please. Everywhere. But my mom always said it's good to give yourself a little facial. A little teeny facial every night. It doesn't get tacky or sticky, but I can feel like, oh, now I can feel that I can put another product on it because my skin is already starting to absorb the serum. So I just used the second and third with the, with the booster. The fourth product that I'm going to use is the Pure Radiance Oil by True Botanicals. And look at that color. Love the color of that. And the smell is just heavenly. This radiance oil smells like, like jasmine. It has neroli, I think it is, and, or neroli, and then rose. I put that all over my face, on my lips, my nose, even on top of my eyes. Sometimes my daytime is a little quicker than my nighttime. I spend a little bit more time at night taking off my makeup because usually it's been, I've been out in the elements all day and also I've had makeup on, so I spend more time at night. I see a couple of drops. Hey, I'm going to say that I think her skin looks good and I don't really see, you know, she has got a frown line, you know, I can see everything, right? <laughs> so I think that she's given up the, the Botox, maybe not, not having so much of it. So that's a good thing. Um, just saying. Um, this Renew Pure Radiance Oil is 110 bucks. So this is her second serum because that, you know, it's like a serum again. But this is like a facial oil serum and it is their best selling. True Botanicals really tell you this on their site that it is best selling this Renew Pure Radiance Oil. Okay, so I'm just saying this is it. The reason I'm saying this is because the ingredients, listen to this, it's got Camellia seed oil moisturizing, um, grape seed oil, antioxidant moisturizing, avocado oil, antioxidant moisturizing, marula seed oil, moisturizing, hemp seed oil, moisturizing, chia seed oil. And I, I can go right down the list and, you know, it's it's got really good moisturizing ingredients and humectants all in this. It really has. Um, it's got frankincense oil, which is number 21, which is perfuming. Um, sometimes people think that can be sensitizing. It's got vitamin E and number 23. It has got rose um, flower oil. That's also 25. That's that's perfuming and so is jasmine oil. But, you know, all of these, there is so many moisturizing and antioxidant ingredients that outweigh these essential oils that I'm always talking about. Essential oils, I love essential oils, first of all. I have to say that. And they have to be diluted properly in a carrier to make them okay for applying to skin. I'm just very... I don't like them being applied over the eye area. She did that over the eye area and I'm not happy with that. I would much have preferred her not putting something that I think might not be great over the eye area. Uh, how can I put that? You know, a nice light eye cream. I'd have been much happier with her doing that and tapping it all around. But I don't like people putting oil over this area because you produce enough sort of oil and you know the more you blink it pulls the product down here anyway when you're putting on eye cream here i'm just very careful that, that would you know if you put on something like this right speak what you're trying to say Joni. it could block the hair follicle and the eyelashes and that might cause a problem for some people i'm just saying you need to be careful about putting stuff on the eye i don't like that but i didn't brooke i didn't so be careful about that but i do think this one this is the best seller on their you know, on their website, it's a best-selling moisturizing facial. I think it's worth a try. I do. Just again, if you can, you know, be careful. Don't put it on the eye area and be gentle. I love what she said about it is a ritual. Your skincare routine, hundred percent, should be a ritual. But use light pressure. You know, she's a bit like that. You know what I'm saying? A bit heavy-handed. Dermatologists one mostly for like sunspots and for. Uh, mole checks and cancer things like that and fraxel and then i see another one who oh quickly she just said that she sees a dermatologist right okay <clears throat> and she gets fraxel and that's one of the reasons our skin looks so great so fraxel laser i've had that around this area it's absolutely brilliant and um, so she gets fraxel 
which is really good because it's sort of it's like the effects of a really really deep deep peel on you it really burns the top layer of the skin smooths it out it heals nicely and it stimulates collagen if you're interested in that go and speak to someone about it because i would advocate it it's really really good but that's why she's she's looking good as well because she does have treatments and you know that's great if you can have treatments and afford to Go and get them. That's what I say. Go and get them if you can afford it. Do it. Do it. Because it will just enhance what you do at home. But never, ever, ever underestimate what you do as your nighttime skincare routine and what products you use. Never underestimate that because that's what you do at home every day is really going to tell and show on your skin. It will. So get into good habits. It does like more um, spot therapy and um, light therapy on my skin and I'm willing to try anything. The last product that I'm going to be using is called Resurrection Radiance Eye Cream. Now I love an eye cream. This one is delicious. It's just, it's thick without being greasy. It is, it's just, I like to put a little bit on my hand and I like to warm it up a little bit and the warmth somehow dissipates it much more smoothly. And I pat first, like that. And then sometimes, if I'm in the mood, in the morning, I usually take one of my little tools and then go like that with it, because my eyes kind of can get puffy. They get puffy very easily. I have allergies. I was going to a desert island. Well, I would have to bring a product that had a sunscreen in it. <laughs> But if I was going to be on a desert island, I think the thing that I would want the most is the radiance oil because it can be used on my hair. It can be used, I sometimes put it on my lips. I definitely put it on my eyebrows. Um, and I feel like I could use multi-purpose with it. Although I do really love this eye cream. I might have to sneak the eye cream. Oh, so there we go. That interesting. She puts the radiant the radiance oil on her eyelids all over her eye area and then she puts quite a lot of eye cream. Hey, listen, that can give you puffy eyes. <gasps> right, just saying, Brooke. So the thing is that using an eye cream, you only need a split pea size. As little as that, you do. Uh-huh. That's all you need. Because too much eye cream, and that was definitely too much applied 100% that will give you milli around your eyes you know that's that's not good that's that's going to give you problems definitely and she said her eyes are puffy that's what I said to you you shouldn't put oil any oil serums on this area that will just aggravate your eyes so I would have left the oil off the eyes and just put this eye cream on and I, I have looked at this now and I'm looking at this eye cream yeah is a, it's really good anti-aging green tea leaf extract number first ingredient antioxidant soothing um it's got number three mango seed butter moisturizing glycerins number four hydrating um what's it got turmeric root extract antioxidant skin brightening i'm just trying to pick one that i think you've not heard of i like this one it's called silly bum yes it is <laughs> silly bum marianum <laughs> it's milk thistle <laughs> I had to put that one in there. It brightens eyes and inhibits the collagen degradation. That's number seven in that. That's pretty cool. Um, number 10, it's got coffee and um, seed oil, which is antioxidant and a hydrator. And then number 12, oh God, it's, there's so many good ones in here. There really is. Resurrection plant, aka Rose of Jericho Moisturizer. That's number 13. And it's got that Terminalia Arjuna extract, which is probably the same as the last one in the last product, and it's an antioxidant. It's got um, licorice root extract, which is soothing and skin brightening, number 16. Oh my goodness, there's loads in here. There's even hyaluronic acid in it as well. Jojoba seed oil, um, lactobacillus, which is a humectant. This is really good, this. It is vitamin E come down to the end. It's, not, it's down number 28, but this is worth a look at, the Resurrection Radiance Eye Cream. 78 bucks this is worth a look at it's got everything that you want in an eye cream anti-aging antioxidants and moisturizers mm -hmm. i do like that i do and that's number five let's see what she's finishing off by saying cream in to my little sack that i'm taking to the island <laughs> there's so many trends right now it's hard to keep track of them um i haven't seen anything that's that's really crazy 
I mean, I remember hearing that for bags, people were putting Preparation H under their eyes. I have not tried it, but I guess it takes down swelling. <laughs> so maybe I should try it. <laughs> um, that was a pr probably the craziest, the craziest thing that I've ever heard. Um, yeah. So I feel like now my face just feels so moisturized. It feels like it's gotten a little attention, but it also feels so clean, but not dry. So, so that is it. You can see how healthy and moisturized and ready to go to bed my face is. So come on, let's go to bed. Oh, I think she is adorable though. You know, I know that she is the face of True Botanicals, but she is adorable, isn't she? Just need to talk to her about putting stuff and ragging her eye skin. Yes, we do, Brooke, we do. What can I say? Something for you to think about, about this, these products, True Botanicals. True Botanicals are really, you know, cruelty-free and they're vegan. I love that, I do. Um, you know, that to me is really what we need to really go for when we're looking at products. You know, you ask me on this channel all the time, what should we look for, what should we look for? Well, that would be the first filter for me. Is it cruelty-free? Is it, ve it doesn't need to be vegan or maybe when I say that, you know, honey, honey means it's not vegan, for example, if it contains honey, um, anything from the bees. So you have to say, is it 100% vegetarian? Thinking about that way, but that's going along the way to choose the right products for your skin. It really is. So looking at that always when you're looking at products. You know, healthy natural ingredients need no animal testing. I've put this down at the bottom because I'm going to say, why would we ever put our animal friends at risk when there is no cause? Okay. So there you go. What did you think of that? Have you tried any of those products? Do you fancy trying any of those products? And isn't she just stunning still? 56. She is stunning. She really is. So I hope you really enjoyed that. Remember, please check out my um, Instagram, Joni Loves. Uh -huh. Go and have a look at that. I do some funny things on that. Some reels. Yes, just to give you a bit of a laugh. I like to teach you about skin and ingredients with a bit of fun. I do. So I hope you enjoyed that today. Let me know your comments. You know, I love the comments and I do answer them all. You, you, you know that. So please feel free to leave me a comment and give me an idea of who else you would like me to talk about. Because I know that some of you have asked me to do um, look at the celebs and you enjoy them. So take care. Have a great week and look after yourselves. Much love and hugs. Thank you.